Christine, you, you and, and Peter, you lead a, a major television network. It's the Jerusalem Channel. Oh, Jerusalemchannel.tv. So, it sounds very good. Jerusalem Channel. You can say a few words about it. Well, you can find us at Jerusalemchannel.tv. We're on 24-7 all the time, bringing the word of the Lord from Jerusalem. Can I ask you all to stand up for this last prayer? We are finishing, so it's the, it's the appropriate thing to stand to honor that moment. Okay, uh, thank you so much, Albert, for the opportunity to uh, pray this closing prayer. And so, Heavenly Father, thank you for having kept us and preserved us, and you've brought us, even us, to this occasion of the 75th anniversary of this nation and the seventh Jerusalem prayer breakfast. Lord, we have heard that we are entering in, we're living literally in Psalm 2. And Father, we want to give a prayer response to the fact that we don't know really how much time we have to travel. Lord, there are threats hanging over the destiny of the gospel at this time to be able to move. But Father, we lay our calendars before you today as we conclude this great convocation. We pray for travel mercies. Father, we pray, we dedicate our lives anew in this hour that each one of us will be in the right place at the right time. Should you tarry, Lord, we don't know if we have another year because of threats from the World Health Organization Treaty. We don't know, Lord, but yet we so want to be used of you in this hour to do the maximum work. But we know also, Father, that the church age is winding up and Israel is arising again. And so, Father, we thank you for the opportunity to be part of the lifting up of Israel again in these days. Father, we pray, should you tarry in this coming year, that you will be especially with the Jerusalem Prayer Breakfast in Australia, in the great south land of the Holy Spirit. And Father, we pray for a supernatural move of your Holy Spirit there in Australia. Father, they have suffered so much during the lockdowns. We pray for a supernatural spirit of liberty and a fresh winds of the Holy Spirit there. And we thank you for the travel mercies and for an abundance, 12 basketfuls left over of supply for the ongoing work. And so Father, as we conclude tonight, we know that these are dangerous hours. And you have said, Lord, that if the days are not shortened, that even no flesh would be left. But we want to thank you tonight that we decree that all the plans of Iran and her proxies will be stopped and brought to naught. As they're talking about war, even now in the north, we thank you, Lord, that we are standing in the gap on your wall and that no harm shall befall this nation, Father. Thank you for each watchman. Thank you for each minister, for each politician that has participated in this holy convocation. And we thank you, Lord, that you warned us that deception would be increasing. And we pray, you said that even the elect could be deceived. So we pray, Lord, for a supernatural increase of discernment for each one of us in here tonight. Father, we pray for a supernatural increase of discernment on our beloved Israel in Yeshua's name. Amen. Now bless and refresh Albert, yeah. Helen, and the team. Thank you. Travel mercies, amen. God Thank bless. You. Thank you so much, Christine. Thank you. Thank you.